Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build a decision tree using classification and regression trees. That is nothing but CART algorithm with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a data set with the four attributes and 10 examples. Given this particular data set, we need to apply the CART algorithm and then we need to build the decision tree here. Now, uh, in the first step of CART algorithm, we need to find the Gini index of the whole data set with respect to the target that is job offer in this case. So if you look at this particular job offer, there are uh, totally 10 examples are there out of that seven are yes examples and three are no examples over here. Now how to find the Gini index is the Gini index of whole data set is always equal to one minus summation of i is equal to one to m pi square here. m is the total number of classes. pi is the probability of a given class here. Now the probability of s is equal to 7 by 10 and probability of no is equal to 3 by 10. If you put those part thing in this equation, 1 minus 7 by 10 bracket square minus 3 by 10 bracket square, you will get the Gini index is equal to 0 0.42. This is the Gini index of whole data set with respect to target here. Now in the second step, we need to compute the Gini index of each attribute and each of the subsets in that particular attribute. For example, uh, we will consider this particular CGP in the first iteration. So CGPA has three possibilities that is greater than equal to 9, greater than equal to 8 and less than 8 here. For all these particular possibilities, we need to write how many number of yes examples are there and how many number of no examples are there. If you consider this particular greater than equal to 9, this is the first one, uh, this is the second one here, this is the third one and this is the fourth one. So totally how many examples are there? Four are there. Out of that first one, third one and fourth one are S example and second one is no example. So there are three S examples are there and one no examples are there. Similarly, we need to write the remaining things here. Now, once you write these particular things, we need to identify the Gini index of this particular attribute as well as the subset of in this particular attribute. Now, how many subsets are possible here? There are totally eight subsets are possible because there are three possible values are there. So two raised to three is equal to how much? Eight in this case. Out of that particular thing, one is null and one subset is containing all this particular possible values here. The remaining are the subsets with uh, one value, subsets with what you can say that the two two values over here. Now, once you identify these particular subsets, we need to identify or we need to find the, you can say that uh, the best splitting uh, subset over here. For that reason, what we do here is uh, whenever we have those particular uh, six uh, subsets, we will try to consider those particular things something like this one. The best uh, splitting uh, subset is this is the first subset and this is the second subset we will consider. And then second time what we do, this is the subset and this is the second subset. Between this is how we will try to do it for the second one. Third time these two will be considered and this will be considered as a separate one. And between these three possibilities, which whichever is having the best uh, uh, Gini index or the minimum Gini index, that will be considered as the best uh, splitting subset over here. Again, uh, to calculate the Gini index, we use this particular formula. To combine that particular Gini index of each subset, we use this particular equation. I will discuss this particular equation at the later stage. Now, first we will take this particular possibility. What is that? Uh, I will erase everything here. I will take this particular thing as one subset and this as a separate here. For that particular thing, we need to calculate the Gini index of greater than equal to 9, greater than or equal to 8 for CGPA. So total number of examples are how many here? 8 examples out of that uh, 7 are S examples and 1 is no example. So 1 minus 7 by 8 bracket square, 1 minus 8 bracket square which is equal to this value. And for this particular subset, the total number of examples are 2, 0 or S, 2 or uh, negative here. 1 minus 0 by 2 bracket square minus 2 by 2 bracket square which is equal to 0 here. Now once you calculate this particular Gini index, we need to combine this particular Gini index. That is a Gini index of t comma a here. Uh, a consists of what? This is the one subset and this is the another subset here. So first subset, the cardinality of first subset divided by total number of examples, Gini of that particular subset plus cardinality of second subset divided by total number of examples, Gini of that particular thing. So how many examples are there in the first subset? So totally eight examples are there. So eight of eight divided by 10 multiplied by this particular Gini plus second time we have two, two divided by 10 multiplied by this particular Gini. You will get the Gini index of this splitting subset is equal to 0.17552 over here. So one side you will get this side and another side you will get this one. 
now coming back to the second one uh, second possibility again i will do one thing i will erase all these things i will consider this as one subset and this as the second one again we need to calculate the gini index of greater than equal to 9 and less than 8 gini index of what is that called as greater than equal to 8 and then we need to combine using this equation you will get the gini index of this particular splitting subset in the third case what we do is we will combine these two as one subset and this will be the separate one again what we need to do we need to calculate the gini index of this one that is greater than equal to 8 less than 8 the gini index of greater than equal to 9 here and then we need to combine these two things once you combine these part of things for this particular splitting subset you will get 0.1417 as the uh, gini index over here now we need to see the gini index of uh, cgpa for all possibilities if you look at this particular possibilities this value is minimum here the meaning of this one is this is the best splitting subset for this particular cgpa one side you will get greater than equal to 9 greater than equal to 8 another side you will get uh, less than 8 over here so the two branches will get in this particular case uh, that is the best uh, splitting subset over here now once you get this particular best splitting subset the next step is to calculate the gini or you can say that the best splitting subsets value over here so that can be calculated using this formula that is the gini of cgpa is equal to gini of whole data set we have already calculated it minus gini of that particular uh, attribute over here so gini of a uh, whole data set is 0.42 and genie of this particular attribute uh, uh, CGPA is we have considered this one as the minimum so that I will put here I will get 0.2445 as the genie in this particular case so this is how you need to calculate the genie of uh, an attribute in this particular case for CGPA we have calculated it similarly we have to do it for the interactiveness interactiveness has only two possibilities yes and no here uh, for S, yes, uh, we need to calculate the genie index for no also we need to calculate the gini index here and there is only one possibility this is the only subset here that is the only possibility for this particular possibility we need to calculate the gini and then uh, there is no need to do the, any uh, com combination or all uh, because we have only one possibility here and finally we need to calculate the gini of this particular interactiveness that is equal to gini of uh, whole data set minus gini of interactiveness here uh, which is equal to 0 0.052 in this case so genie of interactiveness we have calculated now coming back to the next one that is practical knowledge the practical knowledge has three possibilities that is very good good and average and these are the possible values of s and o here now what we need to do is again we need to calculate the uh, splitting uh, subset here first we will put this one on one side and this is the second side and that is what i have done here very good good is the one possibility and average is the another possibility for that one we need to calculate the gini index and then we need to calculate the gini index of combination of these things that is practical knowledge is equal to this one one side and average at the other side here so if you look at here there are totally seven examples are there seven by ten divide uh, and then second one is uh, three by ten over here seven by ten three by ten and the final uh, gini index is equal to three zero five four over here next uh, the second possibility is uh, very good and average as one side and good as the another side here that is what you can see here and then the gini of this particular thing is calculated which is equal to 0 0.40 after combining these two things the last possibility is what good and average as one side very good as the another side here and once you good this uh, put this particular thing or the possible values you will get the gini index of this one that is good average one side and very good as the other side is 0 0.3750 and if you look at this particular gini index of all three uh, in this particular case this is the minimum one very good good and average is the having a minimum over here uh, and then what we need to do is uh, the genie of practical knowledge we need to calculate that is nothing but genie of whole data set minus genie of data set given this particular uh, practical knowledge here which is equal to 0.1146 here so this is the genie of uh, what you can say that the practical knowledge so we have calculated the genie for three attributes similarly we have to do it for communication skill we have three possibilities here so that's the reason we need to do this particular calculation the genie of communication skill is equal to these two and one as this side second time we need to consider these two and this as the other side third time we need to consider these as one side and this is the other side here again we need to uh, find the minimum one over here the minimum is for this particular uh, subset and then once you put this particular thing in genie equation you will get the for communication skill the genie as 0.2445 here 
Now, once you come uh, put all those particular Gini values, CGPA and communication skills are having the maximum Gini. Gini index we need to consider minimum and Gini should be maximum over here. So between these two, CGP and communication skill, we need to select one as the root node and then we need to start building the tree here. So for time being, I will be considering CGP as the root node. If you want to consider communication skill, yes, you can consider and then start building the tree here. So once I consider CGP as the root node, what is the best splitting subset for CGPA that we have already identified greater than equal to 9, greater than equal to 8 as one side and then less than 8 as the other side over here. So less than 8 if you look at here this is the one possible example for less than 8 and this is the another possible example for less than 8 here both of them are of no type so whenever we have less than 8 as the edge we will be getting no as the job offer here but for the remaining things that is greater than equal to uh, 9 and 8 we have some yes examples are there some no examples are there that's the reason we don't get the final answer over here so that's the reason you can see here whenever you consider cgp as the root node there will be one branch as less than eight for this one we have all uh, no example so the job offer will be set to no here for the remaining possibility that is greater than equal to nine and greater than equal to eight there is a combination of yes and no examples are there so from the remaining three attributes that is uh, interactiveness practical knowledge and communication skill we need to identify one attribute as the best uh, splitting attribute and then we need to start building the tree over here so what I will do is uh, from the remaining uh, 8 examples, actually 10 examples are there, out of that 2 examples will go on this particular side. From the remaining 8 examples, we will start building the tree over here. So these are the 8 examples over here. From this particular 8 examples, we need to identify the Gini index similar to the previous uh, calculation. So the Gini index of this particular data set is equal to 0.2184 here. Now once you calculate the Gini index of this particular data, we need to calculate the uh, best splitting attribute for this particular uh, interactiveness, uh, practical knowledge and communication skill similar to the previous uh, calculation over here. For interactiveness, we have two possibilities that is yes and no here. For this particular yes and no, we need to calculate uh, the Gini index of yes here, Gini index of no here and the combination in this case, the Gini index of yes no is equal to 0 0.056 and there are no other possibilities so Gini of this interactiveness is equal to Gini of whole data set minus Gini of whole data set min of interactiveness which is equal to 0 0.1624 here so we have identified the Gini of interactiveness here next what we need to do Gini of uh, practical knowledge we need to identify so there are three uh, possibilities are there as discussed in the previous uh, iteration uh, the, for this particular three uh, possibilities we need to identify the Gini index here once you identify the Gini index, the Gini of this particular practical knowledge is equal to the Gini of full data set minus the minimum here. Out of these three, this is the minimum here and this is the best splitting uh, subset here. So we will be getting this as the Gini here. Now uh, we need to calculate uh, the Gini index of communication skill. Again, first Gini index of uh, com uh, for communication skill, again, there are three possibilities are there. So uh, splitting uh, subsets we need to identify and then we need to calculate the Gini index here as discussed in the previous iteration out of this this will be the minimum one over here the meaning of this one is this will be the best splitting uh, subset here for this particular thing the Gini is equal to the Gini of full data set minus this particular Gini which is equal to 0 0.2184 here we have calculated the Gini of uh, all three attributes once you identify the Gini for these particular three attributes uh, we need to identify an attribute which is having the maximum Gini here this is the maximum Gini among the remaining uh, three attributes. So the communication skill is having the maximum uh, uh, importance or you can say that the uh, best splitting attributes you can see here. Now uh, we have I already identified uh, the one branch which is equal to no here. For this particular thing, if you consider the communication skill as the attribute here, communication skill has three possibilities, good, moderate and poor. Whenever it is poor, the job offer is equal to no. So that is what I have written here. For good and moderate, everywhere we have yes here, the meaning of this one is whenever communication skill is equal to good or moderate, the job offer will be equal to yes in this particular case. So this is how actually we can apply the classification and the regression trees for the given data set and then we can build the decision tree over here. I hope the concept of uh, CART algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.